What's good, y'all? So I got a question. Have you guys ever bought a phone or anything based off of the accessories that it has available for it? Because for me, that's exactly what happened with the S23 Ultra. Um, I did have intentions on buying the S23 Ultra, but uh, this bad boy right here, the Pataka Mag Easy Case 3, it pushed me over the edge. This is a well-constructed, dope looking case now as odd as it seems this case actually did play a big part in my purchase decision for the s23 ultra and i'd like to talk about that with you guys so let's go ahead and get into it what's good josh man wayne trying to be back with another joint pataka mag easy case three in the building this is one of those cases that i almost always got to get i got to pick it up for whatever phone that is available for um, in the past, we definitely have reviewed Pataka cases, mainly for iPhones. I've never done them for any of the Galaxy line devices. So this is a first for me. Um, this one actually does support MagSafe. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But before we get into that though, man, like I said, just give you a couple of reasons for me. This case in particular for the S23 Ultra was a must because honestly, there's not you know a whole lot of um, cases that I want for my S23 Ultra that they, they got to be of this style, this thin carbon fiber style, um, thin style specifically because the phone is already big enough. I don't need to add any more thickness to the phone. And this case does exactly what I needed to do. Prevent scratches, you know, major drops are probably still going to, you know, harm my phone. But, you know, I'm pretty I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at not dropping my phone when it comes to stuff like that. But um this will do just fine for me now obviously a case like this is not for everybody some people got a case of the drops they're always dropping their phones and breaking screens and everything so there are definitely better cases than this as far as protection goes but for aesthetic purposes for me which is what i'm usually all about this one does the job for me that's why this case is just so dope is how precise every cutout is like You've seen like some of those Samsung cases like on Amazon where they just got the entire, like this whole section is just a big hole, like real lazy with it. Like I appreciate the fact that Pataka just took the extra little, went the extra mile, cut each hole individually just to make it that more aesthetically pleasing. Thank you Pataka for doing that. Not only that, they, they, they said, look, let me get you, let me get you this little protection right here around the cameras that are a little bit bigger, you know, a nice little raise right there. So now you can lay your phone face down on the um, on the cameras themselves. So, man, this thing, look, there's no protection, you know, no size, none of that stuff. Everything's wide open when it comes to the buttons. Even on the bottom, the USB-C port has a nice little opening right there, so you can't miss that. Got our cutout for the S Pen. Works real nicely. Speaker as well and mic, they're all down there. Got a nice little mic cut up at the top, pretty accurate. Man, this, everything's good. Like there's nothing really to worry about with this thing. It fits perfectly, snap it on. Like <laughs> it's, it's a dream and I love using this case. Like it, it doesn't add anything to it. Like it's just, it's essentially just a skin, a high quality skin. That's kind of how I think about it and i love it also with this case you will not get any lay protection so don't expect that you can't lay this face down on the, on the front um you can lay it on the back for sure but don't lay it on the front you're probably gonna scratch your screen <laughs> um definitely have a screen protector as well the good thing about this case too is the fact that it's so thin it doesn't interfere with anything so if you have a you know a nice screen protector on there when you install the case it shouldn't peel that up or anything like that so um, that was nice when I was putting this on. I noticed that, you know, everything meets up perfectly with the edges, nothing overlapping. So as far as MagSafe goes, though, because that for a lot of people, <laughs> for whatever reason, people just want MagSafe for Android. I don't know why, but look, we got it now. So we got MagSafe compatibility with the Pataka case that, you know, it's a Galaxy phone. So, you know, it doesn't natively support MagSafe. So with that being said, a lot of the MagSafe accessories just won't fit the way you would think they would, at least for this phone. Based on the camera array and how everything's orientated, whenever you put your MagSafe accessory back there, it's going to be covering that periscope lens more than likely. Um, I've tried my battery pack, covers the periscope lens. I tried my wallet case, does the exact same thing. 
so you know i'm just got to live with that as you know as far as that goes not only that though the magnets in this pataka case are lackluster to say the least i've used pataka cases in the past and probably the best magsafe magnets on any case you know that supports magsafe at that time but now this year it seems like you know they're kind of skimping out maybe it's just specific to the galaxy phone you know i don't know but i haven't used it for an iphone this year this is the first pataka product that i bought so just fyi magsafe is not an android feature all right so if you know your your magsafe features or your accessories don't work well whatever you got for maybe you had an iphone or maybe you are going to buy magsafe accessories for this phone just know it's going to cover that periscope lens and just know that the magnets aren't going to be as strong and just know that it's not an android feature remember that all right so you can't really be mad because the max save don't work if you want to be mad at anybody i guess be mad at pataka but even then you know they i'm just i i just think they're just giving you guys what you wanted but for me i was never really looking for a max save for this one all i want is just this look so magsafe is not just for the iphone per se pataka actually has their own ecosystem of uh, accessories that support the magnets they have stands they have chargers wireless chargers that support it it's called pita flow by the way if you have other pataka products they may be compatible with this case as well so um, just remember that you know if you don't have any of the like normal magsafe accessories pataka will probably have some better ones or some that fit a little bit better for this phone specifically. Can't say enough about this case. It's been my daily. I love it. Um, I probably won't get any other case really for this phone. Maybe I'll get some skins or maybe even another color for the Pataka. I don't know. But as of right now, I have no <laughs> intentions on getting anything else. So hit me up in the comments though what you guys think about the Pataka Mag Easy Case 3 for the S23 Ultra. Um, it does come in at about 60 ish dollars, 64 dollars for me. Uh, I think that's what it was after tax. That's all I got for this one. This was the Mag Easy Case 3 for the S23 Ultra. Like I said in the beginning, I asked if you guys have ever bought a, an accessory, and the accessory pretty much led to the purchase of the phone. Like <laughs> it's kind of backwards for the most part. Most people buy the phone and then you want to get into the accessories. For me, I saw the accessory and was like, yo, I got to get the phone. Like, just so I can have that accessory. But let me know if anything like that has ever happened to you guys. Uh, I'd like to know. And, uh, yeah, it's your man Wayne Train. We out.